Hello everyone and welcome to DIY Ideas. So today you can see what we have. It's a very colorful project and we do have some stripes going on. So I'm going to show you how you can do that. And you can see that we have a lot of pink, a lot of this golden shade, a little bit of brown and purple as well. So if you want to see what I used and how I did this, make sure to stay tuned. So here is our yarn. We have the Ferris wheel from Lion Brand. It's one ball, one scarf. And you can see all of the colors on top. So main color I say, I'd say is golden with pink. And then we have some others mixed in as well. We have here three ounces, 85 grams, 270 yards or 247 meters machine washable and dryable and 100% acrylic and yeah recommended hook size or let's see color pink marmalade if you want the exact same one so you can see here why it's called marmalade i guess it does remind of strawberry jam and yeah let's get started i'm gonna pull this out from the middle the hook that i'm using is my six millimeter one my favorite size and it's recommended for a, let's see, five millimeter one. So not that off. This way we're going to have a bit looser result, but also a bit bigger and fluffier. So let's find the beginning. So today I'm not going to be counting the stitches or the chains that I start with. Instead, I want to do 150 centimeters in length. The number of stitches does not matter this time. Nine and 10, you can see how lovely this works. And let's do a bit more. Okay, so I have a lot of pink on this table. Anyway, let's measure the length that we have. Okay, so here is everything in the background. A lot of pink going on here. And now what we're gonna do is leave the last two chains out, go into the third one with the yarn over and do a half treble. That means we go through all three loops at the same time and each upcoming chain on the bottom is going to get a new um, half treble on top. back as soon as I finish this entire row. Here is our first row and you can see that we had a little bit of a color change in here and we can actually move the measuring tape to the back. We don't need it anymore since we have the length that we want. And now we can start row number two. Two chains for the height. And now you can see here on top, the little V's or the top of every stitch. And now what I'm going to do is do a yarn over and not go in that section, but actually go in this diagonal piece underneath it. And I'm going to do a single there. Two 
So you can always find this section on the side. And we're doing the same stitch as before, so it's always the half treble. And you can always take a look at where the top of the section or top section of the stitch is and then just go sideways from that. And what that does on the other side is make this little rib more pronounced and it looks wonderful in the end. That's all that we want. And now we have a color changing coming. So we have this brown shade. And the back is really lovely and it's gonna get even better the more rows we do. But that's exactly what we want. You can see here the top section and the bottom section kind of build stripes that are in this case in the background. So a while later here I am and this is what we have. So we did have a very cool color change and now what I'm gonna do is just start a new row. So we're again doing two chains for the height, we're gonna turn and now we're on this side where you can see um, this rib in the front and that's exactly where we want to be. And now we're gonna get started pretty much the same way. So we do a little yarn over and go into the diagonal section of each stitch. And we again do half travels. And you can see on the other side, maybe not after two stitches, but after a couple more, that we're gonna have the same stripe we now have in the front, building or growing on the other side. And I'm gonna continue for a little bit more so that I can show you the effect. be back with a little update. Okay, so a while later, this is what I have and you can see the ribs now more clearly. You can see that they're in different colors, so the lighter ones might be a little bit more visible, but they are all there. And you can see them on both sides. So whichever side I turn to, this is what we have. And I love the colors. They really do play off, um, off of the pattern really well. And here is the entire scarf. So now I'm gonna show you how you can finish it up. So I need this very last stitch. And when we do the last half treble, we can do one more chain here on top. And you can see, in my case at least, that I have quite a bit left over. Um, and I'm gonna stop here because I like the way this looks. Of course, you could do more rows or um, a bigger length if you'd like. This very last row, I'm doing just regular singles. I want to give this a little bit more structure and just a little bit more stability in this very last row. So that's what we're going to do. And then we have pretty much the same beginning and end, and that's exactly what we are trying to achieve. That way it looks symmetrical and it has the same amount of tightness on both ends. Here 
Here is the last single, so now we're gonna shorten this and pull out, then we can tighten a little bit, and when we weave that in as well as the beginning, here we are done. So we do have a little bit left over, you can use this for another project, and here is our scarf for today. So I hope you like the way this looks, let me know what you think of the pattern and also the yarn if you've used it for something else, and yeah. Here is the project for today. So this is something that we also use kind of as a trick to achieve the effect of a knitted piece when we're still doing crocheting. And this is what I like about it so much. It looks awesome. And especially if you're more of a crochet person than a knit person, this might be the trick for you. So I hope you like the way the scarf looks. I'll see you in one of our next videos. If you have questions or comments, post them below. Make sure to shoot a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. See you next time. Bye!